Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase and talk about the basic components and files in an Android Studio Kotlin project. So, when creating a new project, either from this main terminal or from inside an already created project, you would go new project. In this case, I will create for phone and tablet. I will create an empty activity just to keep it very simple. I will then give my application a name. Let's just actually keep it at my application. That's quite simple. I will be using Kotlin. We can then choose between the different versions of Android. And I would suggest doing something like 27, 26. It depends here, we can see the different versions. Newer versions of Android might not be usable by phones using older versions. So the older version you use, the more likely it is that's gonna work on any Android device, but we then lack some of the changes and newer functionality in the newer versions of Kotlin. But I would suggest everything around 26, 27 would be fine. It should work on almost every device and we still have most modern functionality. So I will just go with uh, Android API set 27. We now have this first Kotlin project in Android Studio. It will take a few seconds to load the first time because it's building with a building tool called Gradle. And just give it a few seconds, maybe a few minutes to load, and we'll then have a look at the project. So I now have my first empty activity running in Android Studio. I have my Gradle finished building. And most importantly, for now, we just have a main activity which is kind of like our first empty screen. And we have our main activity inside our app, java.com.example.myapplication, in this case, a main activity. And this kind of defines and structures all the functionality for the graphical interface, like the GUI. We then have something called an XML file, which is located in sort resources, layout, and activity underscore main.xml. And it is an XML file, which means if we look at the right side, we can either see the code and we can just play in code, create components, or what's actually quite nice about Android Studio is that we have this design mode where we for example, here we have a hello world, which can actually just be dragged and dropped around. And we can actually very quickly and simply define, for example, add a button, we would then give the button an ID. We would then inside our main activity, access our button by the ID, and then either maybe define that on click the button, have a method, do something, or have some kind of text input, text view with an ID, which we can then set the text view to be something, have some text input, where we can input some text based on ID. So actually just very simply, we have these basic components and we have this kind of layout, system which allow us to quite quickly and actually very simply build some very nice Android apps. So just the main components in our symbol setup of an Android app, we have our main activities and our activity XMLs. One other thing to note is that we have this Android manifest file, which kind of defines most of our basic stuff like our, our icon when we get so far, kind of labeling, some themes, some like names, some export and some stuff. It's just good to know it's there inside the manifest. For the development cycle, it's not really gonna be used, but later on and also when we would like to like, actually build and complete our project, this note we have this manifest file which boasts of the information needed there. We also inside our resource folder have a few extra resources like some background, we have some values, which could be either kind of like a, a color scheme where we define our colors and it gives us some, some names so they can be reused and easily changed. We would actually prefer to define all our text, our straight up strings into the strings folder or string XML file inside our values folder. And that allow us, for example, if we have multiple languages in our app, we can easily change it in here. There's a bunch of extra things, but just create an empty activity very simply and have a look at the activity main XML and the main activity. That's the main components. And then in my next video, I will showcase how we can get this app running using the built-in available devices where we'll create like a virtual phone. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of the basic structure of our application in Android Studio with a Kotlin app, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.